Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifty, and sparkly eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be showing you some looks with the new Gnome Chrome Halloween eyeshadow palette from Sugar Drizzle. I'm all about those spooky or just Halloween themed eyeshadow palettes right now. And this one is such a fun theme. I actually got a sneak peek of the cover of the eyeshadow palette and I thought it was so cute and really such a great fun way to play on words with multi-chrome and a gnome chrome. And this palette is launching tomorrow, October 17th at 12 p.m. PM Eastern Time. So this is the inside of the palette. We have two black base multi-chromes. Wait till I tell you the price. So it is a 12 pan full shimmer palette. So besides the two multi-chromes, there's some regular shimmers that are just really nice and sparkly, but they don't have any sort of a shift. They're not dual chromes, but then there are a bunch of beautiful dual chromes in here. There's a nice variety of like really, really smooth metallic as well as some more sparkly textured formulas. I would say none of these are like the squishy formula of anything um, before like uh, Adept or It's Bell or from what I've heard their other eyeshadow palettes have. It is going to be very limited edition and it's going to retail for $42.95, which is such a great price and you can use my code MILLY10 to save an extra 10% off. It is an affiliated code, so thank you if you use it or if you want to use anyone else's. There's lots of other great creators that have a code with sugar drizzle. So let's roll the swatches, the swatch comparisons, and the three looks that I created with this palette and I'll give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video. So here are the swatches and I'm going to talk about each of them. I know Mew is a really bright green to a blue shift. Trick or Treat is a regular purple shimmer. Poison Apple is a regular orange shimmer. This one's probably the least shiny one out of all of them. Then is Pumpkin Patch, which is stunning, really beautiful, bright, bright metallic red. Then we have Witch Please, which is a sparkly, more translucent green. Bat My Eyes almost looks like it has some sort of like a grayish base and it does sort of shift a little bit, but it is not per se like a full on multi-chrome. And then Haunted House is such a beautiful, super sparkly, dark gray. Then Everlasting Gnome is the other multi-chrome and that goes from like an emerald green to a purple and a blue. And then down here is Bootiful. This one is a iridescent shifty shade. So we've got a bluish green shift to purple. Creeping It Real is such a stunning topper like pink gold green duochrome. Squad Gnomes is a blue purple duochrome. And then Candy Corny is so, so shiny, very opaque. And this is a beautiful PT based shimmer with a duochrome. First comparison swatch is Squad Gnomes on the top and Amethyst from the It's Bell Flare palette. I knew from the moment I saw the Sugar Drizzle palette that these would be exact dupes to each other. Squaw Gnomes definitely swatches a lot better if you saw my review on the Flare palette from It's Bell. Amethyst was a complete dud. Like, it just doesn't even want to swatch. It doesn't want to pick up. They feel similar in formula, but Squaw Gnomes, like I said, definitely picks up a lot better. Next up is just a shiver comparison. These are not dual chromes or multi-chromes. Top is Haunted House from Sugar Drizzle, and below it is ACI 28 from the Cadane palette from Adept Cosmetics. These definitely feel very, very similar. They look very much the same in color. Next up is the I Gnome U multi-chrome comparison. So that's at the top. Then below it is Exosphere from Davina. Below that is Seaweed from JD Glow. And below that is Cleona's Trefoil. Last of the comparison swatches, we have Everlasting Gnome from the Sugar Drizzle palette. Below it is Polaris from Davina. Then underneath that is JD Glow's Um, And then Anil from Cleona. I do want to mention that Everlasting Gnome does not feel the same texture as the other multi-chrome in the palette. It feels a bit drier and it also doesn't feel nearly as silky and smooth as these other shades. But these are very, very similar, if not almost the same colors for sure. I think the, I think some of the tones might be just a little bit different.
come over, let me get to know ya. Hey, na 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 na, delve into emotion, leave us in this moment. Right off the bat, these shimmers are so beautifully just smooth and metallic. They don't accentuate any skin texture. I love that there's a nice variety. I also love that there's purples and oranges and greens. I mean, could it be any more Halloween? I think that's a great combination. And I think there's a great balance. And I'm so, so very pleased that there's two black base multi-chromes. For the price, it's absolutely amazing. I would say if you haven't bought any multi-chrome eyeshadows and or you like these kinds of tones, so the greens, to purple or the green to blues then definitely this is a steal to dip your toes into some of those black base multi-chromes that you might not want to buy singles from or maybe you feel overwhelmed from other brands then this is just like a great little palette to have to use with any mattes that your heart desires i do wish it wasn't so limited edition just so that anybody could grab one if they wanted to and also halloween is every year and for a lot of people, it is all year round. So those are my thoughts on the palette so far. Again, I've only done three looks and there's so many more shimmers to use for more looks. So definitely stay tuned on my Instagram as well as TikTok for more tutorials on there. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you knew my channel, I would love it. If you subscribe, there's so much any makeup content uporting my channel and much more to come. You don't want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.